guys i'm playing with the roots custom roms and the custom kernel since 2014 when i had my first android device <laughs> Hello everyone this is Zexpo and welcome back with another brand new video guys I'm damn sure why you have clicked on this video as you have already seen in the thumbnail and the title that I have overclocked my Samsung device for gaming yes guys you have heard it right I overclock my device for gaming guys I'll show you some features in this device so that it would be clear my device is overclocked for a year and I'll also tell you how I overclock my device but guys before moving on this video make sure to like this video and also subscribe this channel and press the bell icon to get instant notifications of my latest videos so guys without wasting your time let's get into the video Okay guys, uh, first I'll tell you that my device name is Samsung J7 2016 model and if I'll show you my device specifications in the Google. So guys, uh, this is my device as you can see here and if I go to the specifications, it comes with Android 7 and the upgradable up to Android 9 and it has Exynos 7870 chipset and the max CPU clock speed is 1.6 GHz and now i'll show you my device about section so let's go to the settings and then about phone then software information so guys here you can see my one ui version is 2.0 and the android version is android 10 but if you can see here you can upgrade up to only android 9 but i have upgraded up to android 10 now i will show you one more thing to clear your doubt that i have overclocked my device guys uh, here you can see that the cpu max clock speed is 1.6 gigahertz and now i'll show you in the cpu z app here you can see my max cpu clock speed is 1.79 it's around 1.8 gigahertz which means 20 gigahertz is more than default cpu clock speed and the gpu clock speed is also overclocked but it's not showing gpu clock speed in the specifications but i think it was around 300 gigahertz for overclock my device okay so guys now i'll tell you how i overclock my device guys overclocking is not hard as others says about this but uh, you should have proper knowledge about root custom roms twrp and others and if you don't have a proper knowledge about this then maybe your device will go to boot loop or die forever so first take full knowledge and information about this then try this method guys i'm playing with the roots custom roms and the custom kernel since 2014 when i had my first android device so i have enough knowledge about this and that's why i'm sharing non-root overclock tweaks and the script because there are only few limitations but one day it would be over and you can do anything without root so let me tell you what i did to overclock my device guys i have flashed custom roms and the custom kernel in my device to overclock using twrp here you can see that and the kernel name is erase kernel version 8 and guys if you don't know what is twrp you can watch videos on youtube and take full information about this using twrp you can flash any custom roms custom kernel and there's so many things that you have never think before and guys if you also have same device with same processor like i have you can also flash this kernel to get decent amount of performance but your device must have twrp installed now i'll tell you how is the performance after overclock my device guys i'm getting decent performance after overclocking my device i'll not tell that it's giving me super performance but yes it has decent performance because it's a very old device and the processor is also poor and then our games are coming in high end and hd quality so it's not able to handle that higher size games however you can play games like a free fire mobile legends bgmi pubg Call of Duty with constant 40 to 50 FPS but uh, now it's getting heat while playing games because the CPU speed is overclocked or increased. Except gaming, the device performance is really amazing in terms of scrolling, multitasking and I can say it's a fully stable ROM for this device. So guys this is the information which I wanted to share with you and I will also try other things in this device like other custom ROMs, kernel and the gaming which I definitely share with you so guys i hope you enjoyed this video and if you think my videos are informative then kindly like this video and also subscribe this channel to get more amazing videos for your android devices so guys that's all for today see you next video till then take care and signing out